Here you can see the panoramic painting um, from the inside with the five elements from the Wuxing. Um, and this starts with uh, element earth. And as you can see here, then there's element metal, like ores. And this is element water. Then comes element wood. And last element fire, which turns with ashes into earth again. Here from the top view you see earth. This is metal. This is water. And this is wood. And here you can see fire. Now all of them, um, all the elements you can see, they have um, the same things twisting around um, in the middle of the of the circle. Um, one frame has holograms of figures, and the other one has abstract shapes. Um, now these figures for Earth are Lao Tzu, the founder of Taoism, and Niaratmiya, uh, which is the symbolism symbol, the goddess symbol of uh, non-dualism in Buddhism. Um, and with earth you can see that the abstract shapes are very solid, quite thick and a bit rough. Um, and here with element metal, uh, the personification is Zarathustra. Um, and the metal um, abstracted shapes are of course, they are sharp, uh, thin, quite hard. Um, yes, so you can see that there. With element water, the personifications are Apollo and Dionysus, and Apollo um, is the personification of the intellect and uh, rational thought and Dionysus is of emotion and here the abstracted shapes are thick and uh, well of course because it's liquid with wood the abstracted shapes are thin relatively thin and they point upwards and the personifications um, are which I chose now uh, are Martin Luther King, Jesus, Cersei Gainsbourg and Butters from South Park. It's a difficult one but it's mostly um, an innocence, yeah, a, a glad innocence which um, personifies it. With fire, uh, the, the abstracted shapes are also thin but they are less, in a less penetrating way, m pointing upwards. Uh, they are a bit lighter than wood, and the personifications are Shu Xing, um, which in Tao is or in uh, Chinese mythology is the figure that brings both prosperity and the timing of death. And the other person is uh, Socrates. And here you can now see uh, some of the tryouts with the holograms. Uh, which is funny is that they look a lot like um, Orthodox icons, and I really did not plan that, but that looks surprisingly nice so maybe that is a kind of a direction that I might try out that the the plexiglass plates move in maybe more diverse manners that I um, thought of so far but let's see we'll see about that um, further for, or from this point on there is uh, videos which are test screens from uh, this, uh, the smoke machine I have um, which has projections cast on it and it turned out a bit different than I thought um, some complications it was a bit difficult to get exactly what I want but it is quite special so for example here you can see now water uh, and it for me it really feels uh, gives an underwater feel um, and it is uh, very much an 
ambient maker, which uh, I really like because ambient is more likely to trigger some kind of affect than rational elements that are given more with the, the holograms and the figures. This is more sensorial and I think people will be influenced more subliminal. So in that sense, um, the affect is a lot more diverse and in that way I think the project can only become richer um, and also the light has gone into strange colors and um, the smoke the light went through the smoke in ways that I thought were a bit different well I am uh, repeating myself um, but they turned out very interesting at least I think and I, I do not have too much more to say but it's uh, apart from the fact that um, it's worth to experiment a lot with this and maybe go to some unknown directions with this um, and now this video I extended with these test screens for um, another five minutes so maybe you can speed up uh, the speed uh, Put up the speed so it's faster or i choose to not do that because then the smoke uh, looks weird because it's already uh, of course calling very quickly um, but i wanted to upload them because uh, it looks really nice and i didn't want to pick one over the other because it's in the diversity um, which brings many options um, so that is what i have so far <laughs>